Hello, welcome to a new episode in the FLTK Rust series. So uh, in this episode, uh, we'll be uh, I'll be showing you the Fluid uh, Rapid Application Development Tool, uh, which stands for the FLTK User Interface uh, Designer. So uh, if you've ever used FLTK, uh, FLTK has a um, a GUI uh, WYSIWYGI tool. What you see is what you get tool, uh, which allows you to quickly create uh, applications. So here. I have a uh, just a normal uh, Rust project, and I've added the uh, FLTK uh, as a dependency. So uh, here I have a tool called FL2 Rust, which basically translates uh, FL files, fluid files, into Rust. So uh, there are two ways to actually use this. So you can use it uh, through Cargo install, or you can uh, basically just automate things. Uh, by adding it as a build dependency which is what we're going to do here so we'll add this as a build dependency and then basically you need a build.rs file so this works basically pretty much like uh, blind gen uh, basically we tell uh, cargo to rerun if the uh, fl file was uh, modified so uh, take this you can name your uh, fl file or whatever uh, and here for example this is a, an example FL file uh, we'll be creating our own and uh, here in the source directory we'll be uh, creating uh, a UI, UI for example dot uh, FL file or sorry uh, dot RS and then we'll be using the macro here To uh, concat uh, the uh, output of the uh, FL2 Rust uh, tool, so uh, here uh, we want it in the uh, UI.RS in the out there. So this will take the UI.RS uh, that is generated by the tool and the build.RS and basically add it to this file here. And uh, the last thing is to use it uh, from main. So uh, for example, we'll be using this. and let's create for example something here so uh, we have the fluid tool open so for the moment the FL2 Rust uh, tool doesn't support uh, everything in uh, fluid however it supports uh, basic stuff most uh, C++ centric stuff aren't supported so uh, usually things start by creating a class which is uh, our struct we leave it called user interface and a constructor so uh, here it's a function or method we can keep the name as it is and then we can create basically our window or whatever widgets we need so this is our window here you can for example add a button so uh, let's say click me so in the uh, C++ part the only thing that is supported for the moment is the uh, the trigger, the callback trigger here, which is released, which is the default for buttons, and we can give our button an, an identifier. So let's call it but. And here you can, for example, uh, change uh, the size and everything, the location. Oops. Okay. You can double click to get it back. So the style, you can change the font, uh, you can change the color, for example, so let us say uh, yellow, uh, the font, for example, courier, uh, the type of the box, <coughs> and uh, here you can add a shortcut, uh, an image, uh, the type of the label, uh, whatever you want. So for example, let's add uh, an input field, so uh, let's get this empty the name will give it amp and uh, close and let's add for example a um, so a box is a frame so we'll keep it empty and let's say the name is frame
you can use your mice, uh, the, your key, uh, your uh, arrow keys to move it around. And uh, let's add another, for example, box here. So uh, enter name, for example. Oops. So yeah. So this doesn't really need. Uh, we won't be accessing it. So let's call this enter name, for example. And uh, we'll change the alignment. So let's say uh, left and center, or inside the widget. So uh, basically, if someone clicks here, we want to show the uh, the name of the the person, the inputted uh, name from here. So uh, let's save this, save as. So uh, we were in the source directory, we called it uh, ui.fl, save. So here you can see this was generated and this is ui.rs. So let's try running this. Okay. Yep, so this is ui.fl. ui.fl. And we want this to be able to uh, rerun basically whenever this changes. And uh, here, for example, in main, so we already have uh, UI, user interface, make window. You can access the button here. Let's just see that this works. Okay, so this works. So let's, uh, for example, uh, try to access uh, the frame. Let's say um, this is the UI.imp clone. So these are basically cheap uh, clones. You check here, it's called imp. Yeah. And the uh, let me frame. So let us say um, format hello, and this takes the input value, and then here uh, the frame set label to text. to move here. Okay. So let's say mo. Okay, so this works. So that was basically it for this uh, video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and uh, remember this is uh, really pre-alpha there might be a lot of bugs for the moment so uh, if you find any bugs you can report them in the uh, fl2 rust uh, repo uh, thanks again for watching bye